Uh, welcome in to another Squad Ops One Life event. Today we have day two of our Northern Route campaign. It is... We're on Scorpo. Uh, it's Russia versus US in a series of engagements. We're on the mod, so everything should be working perfectly fine. And all that jazz. Hopefully the stream quality is looking good. I'm now... Not a lot of you guys here. Let me refresh this. Number go up, please. Wow. Nobody watching on a Friday. It's all good. Tomorrow is obviously the bigger stream, but we're doing this just for the sake of trying to capture as much of the campaign as we can. Uh, let's take a look at the status of our campaign. It's looking a little something like this right now. After day one, U.S. have five zones in zone zero, or five sectors in zone zero. Russia only have two. Russia will be attacking first today, and I uh, imagine they're going to take something in zone zero because it's all they can really do. Uh, just for a reminder, the sectors have to be at least 600 meters away from each other to be valid for attack, and they have to be in the previous zone. So, all depends on that. All depends on what's happening. U.S. On the other hand, when U.S. when it's U.S.'s turn to attack later on, we'll be seeing the uh, the Zone One kits being used. They get different kits for their loadout. Not entirely sure what they're going to be taking, but it is going to be different. Um, I spawned at the wrong freaking start zone. Nothing that matters. It'll take a hot minute for everything to get set up. So that's why we're just chilling here for right now. Uh, but anyway, so Russia on the back foot here, they lost sector. They lost the hill from the first day of the campaign. Uh, U.S. defended their attack on Pavel's Ridge, I think it's called. So that's the big thing here. The big thing here is if U.S. get a foothold into Zone 1, how far they can extend that foothold. Uh, they'll, it'll take a couple of days for U.S. to get into Zone 2. Because uh, they have to take at least two points. If they take the southern route, they have a chance to get into Zone 2 uh, by Day 4. Uh, assuming that they win all their engagements and they keep going that direction. If you're looking at the map here, it's sort of... They have to connect. So the zones have to connect by the line to a blue sector. So the red sector they're attacking has to connect to a blue sector. And the sector they're attacking from, where they start their mission, has to be in a previous zone at least 600 meters away. It's my understanding of the rules. Still getting a brief here. Uh, SLs are still planning things out. So. Any minute now. Phoenix will start briefing these guys. All my guys are here. All right, gents, welcome. Go ahead and do me a favor and open up your maps. We will be discussing Operation Northern Route. Day two. Perhaps day one. I'm a Russian. I have a hard time keeping my days together. All right. Uh, we are executing a three-phase line operation in order to secure the Mike 14 uh, area called Lower Ike. In order to do this, we will be establishing a platoon line east side of the river marked on map where your SL's POI marks are. Uh, phase line one will be establishing the platoon line and setting up in order to push to the river. Phase line two, we will be bounding either by squad or fire team across the river based on enemy contact. Phase line three, we will be setting up a western defensive posture in order to maintain uh, control of the region. We are expecting enemy infantry contact west as well as southwest once we get to phase line three. Intel shows that we are fully aware of two times infantry squads on point proper inside Mike 14. We are also aware of enemy reinforcements being marked on map as we speak to the northwest the southwest um, 
and further out at the crossroads. So three things to keep in mind. One, communication is going to be key. We're dealing with a lot of conscripts today. That means I need my NCOs, or the lack thereof, uh, doing their best. Phase lines are going to be important. We need this platoon moving and operating as a single element, uh, especially because we have the overwhelming numbers on our initial contact. Let's make sure we're utilizing those appropriately. We don't want to be streaming in one squad at a time. Uh, squad 1, Bao, is my 2IC. He's going to be responsible for maintaining the center of the platoon line. Just to his north is 2D. 2D is going to be part of the main ass assaulting force. That's squad 4. Zaki is going to be holding our northern security, um, making sure we're locking down that MSR and stopping enemy enemy vehicles and or uh, infantry from pushing in through there. Decrum in squad 3 will be holding the south. He's got a lot of open ground to cover, so Decrum's guys, make sure you're keeping an eye on the high ground to your southwest, specifically the fire base up in Mike 16. Um, we're hoping the enemy does not make an attempt to push that field. Uh, and you guys should be aware of your southern and northwestern flanks. I'm going to take a pause there. Does anyone have any questions? Uh, question? Send it. No, what is the main objective? The main objective, good question, is to secure the Mike 14 region, that is Lower Ike. And then we are going to hold a defensive posture to the west and southwest. Your SLs are aware that there's some intel in that area in the form of a radio. They will be responsible for coordinating you guys to find and eliminate that radio harvesting said intel. Good question. Other questions? Are we attacking and they defending or is we just fighting over it? We are attacking the area uh, designated as Lower Ike in Mike 14-5. There are other American forces in the area though that could very well be attacking us simultaneously. Wait, they could be attacking somewhere else? They could be attacking us. Okay. All right. Other questions? Is phase what line two we? east or west of the river? Phase line two is east of the river. Good question. Phase line two, successfully reaching phase line two, means that your squad and or the entire platoon are ready to bound across that river and commence the assault. Good question. Estreos? Uh, what's are we? Outside 200 meters, contact ports to your SLs first. Inside 200, free to engage on site. Good question. Anyone else? Copy that. All right, gents, uh, we're going to be starting on this ridge prior to live. SLs break them out. Remember, guys, communication is key. Let's make sure the entire platoon is meeting these phase lines roughly at the same time. Uh, it doesn't matter. We're live. Round, uh, sorry, the first round of the second day, the Northern Route campaign begins. Russians moving out. Kind of hard to see, so I'm going to try to get down low with these guys. We are going to take a look at the U.S. positions before Russia get too far ahead in here, but it's actually... You'll kill him with that shovel, big guy? No, with this. That looks like it'll be better. Da. And if that fails? I mean, this. Big guy. Big guy, catch up with your squad, buddy. Keep them in line, liberal. Keep them in line. Oh, okay, I'm getting out of there. That was that was some cringe. That was a big cringe. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, Russia looking pretty good here. Uh, squad three doing decent. The reinforcements are arriving. For U.S. significant firepower, you got a mini machine gun, you got a lat, you have grenadier, two ARs, you have a hat, and a medic for each squad. That's pretty strong. Okay, we'll take a last look at the U.S. defenses here. The forward hill looks like they're sitting up on a fallen tree. We got, uh, was it Postal, Limit Sledge, and Geodude here. They're just uh, adding themselves as tree logs. Odds are from this position they won't be able to see much. 
Limit Sledge does have Binox, so there could be a chance that he might be able to see someone moving. Um, this Limit Sledge's position here. You might be able to see Squad 3 as they get closer, just from based on where he's looking. He might be able to see them moving right now. Hard to tell. U.S. reinforcements are actually legging it out pretty fast here. Oh, we're seeing a Lodgy actually come up as well. I know squad four is closest to Bob Creation Marker. Would you like to one proceed to Bob Creation Marker or go to number 15-5 and fill in the platoon line? Hey, good question. Uh, we're going to swap that responsibility over to four. Good call. All right, awesome. Cut. So what I tell you, if he says good question first, it's actually a good question. Or it's actually, like, reasonable. If, it, if he says it afterwards, it's not. Looks like the Flame, help me in dropping this logic, please. Copy. Alright, we have a forward. Go ahead. We have a defensive fob. Build and half the ammo. Copy. Swap to gonna be set in about one minute. That's all good. Let's make sure we do it right, guys. Better than doing it faster. Big problem here. If Squad 2 is going to get in these buildings, they're going to be stuck down here. They need to stick on this hill. It's a nice platoon line. No indication the U.S. have seen their positions yet. So we're all just waiting for Russia to make their move. Gives U.S.'s reinforcements a lot more time to get in position. Striking while the iron was hot. You gotta be able to tell if the iron's hot. But if your plan is coordination, then you just have to roll with the punches. This takes a lot of, uh, this takes a lot of coordination. We are seeing Squad 4 push. No one else is pushing. Let's go back and see what these guys are actually doing. They're moving down pretty far here. They're moving down the hill. In a bit, uh, we're gonna make an attempt here. All right, we're gonna see. Ooh. Build that there. That is gonna be mighty high. Hey, Squad Four, listen up. Eyes on enemy infantry contact northwest in the buildings. Make sure you have covered your northwest. Someone called out contact. I didn't hear it over the radio. Phoenix must have seen it. This is command. We have eyes on enemy infantry contact. Mike fourteen four six inside of the building. Squad Four is going to get this HMG up. We'll place one. Maybe Phoenix saw it from here. That's impressive. Four, once that's up, I need a man to hop on it. Confirm if you can get eyes on the Mike 14 building. Okay. That's right, good eyes. enough. Uh, Kool Aid, hop on it. Here comes the reload. Kool-Aid, please confirm if you have eyes on Mike 14, 4 building, red brick building, bags to the east of it. Bearing 290, Kool-Aid. A4, confirm. Is he talking in squad comms? Uh, yeah, I think he... Yeah, he's hearing us. He's not talking. Four, is that a yes or a no? Yes. Okay, Kool-Aid, do you no. have a mic? Can you talk to me in local? All right, yeah, it's no. Kool-Aid, get up. Player doesn't have a microphone? How is he here? How do you join without a microphone? How do you play squad without a microphone? I will name and shame that guy. I have no qualms about name and shaming people who play without microphones. Meanwhile, all of this confusion means that U.S. are now stacked three squads. We're going to execute on phase line two in 30 seconds. Three squads on the line. More of them in the north. No one's going to have... No one on Russia is going to have eyes on this movement. All right, let's proceed to phase line two. They are... 
Taking it very carefully, though. Going up the hill. More elevation U.S. have, the better chance they're going to be able to respond to whatever Russian aggression comes across them. You play with that, Mike? Why? Go to Walmart. It's four dollars. Plug it in. How do you I don't understand how people can play this game without a microphone. Like this isn't Call of Duty Four, on the Xbox. This game requires teamwork. Squad two, enemy contact with pretty close. Six, seven, heard. That looks like uh, the northeastern building. Copy that too. Shots fired. Oh no. Alright, back last clear. Oh, someone's gonna shoot a racket. Hold, hold, hold. Don't shoot, don't shoot, don't shoot. Central part of the platoon line is gonna start Because if there was a wall behind him, I'd say shoot the wall behind him, but. Get back there back. was. No, no, it's, it's all. Zach, he's dead. Squad leading from the front is bad. That's rough. Jello and Lumpy just set up right on him. Russian GL, pretty strong though. And US GL is also coming back. Rocket hits! Lumpy and Professor Jello are gone. Great shot from Astraeus right there. It's a nice trade for a squad lead though. Our shots are happening south. Oh. I'm not gonna keep arguing the the audio point. It's just common decency. But my level of common decency is obviously different. It's funny because, like, people listen to me because I have this voice. It's literally the only reason people listen to me in this game. Tootie Root and Dando actually made it up over here. If they're smart enough and brave enough to pick their heads up and over, they may have a chance to shoot a few of these U.S. soldiers in this house. It's kind of difficult to see what's going on right now, but there are a few Russian elements now crossing the river. Squad 2 falling back to an FTL. There is actually your nightmare and blades along with, looks like, Comrade Nuclear Twister. Kind of, uh... One, two, <laughs> yeah. Pretty close here. Efank actually doesn't know it, but he's online with... Oh, and Nightmare has him dead to rights, I think. Just kind of filling the ranks for now. Nightmare's just watching these guys, I think. Charlie Fox is about to get zipped. Bada bing! One, two, three! Bartok's dead as well! Nightmare scores a triple! And in turn, Russians are moving across the north road, which means the Nightmare is going to get cut off here. Londard, Stentric, and Scottish just YOLO it across the uh, the field here. Oh, across the road. That's to our Grenade. north, that's to our north. It's not a grenade, or was it just a feckin' leaf? <laughs> are we in contact? <laughs> like a little bit of confusion here. Yeah, we're, I'm, more, I'm more worried about our southwest. Because it was about uh, 251, 30 board. minutes for us to work. Squad 2 is cross. Squad 2 is cross. Ward out of careful. Watch 2, copy. Us. 3, send it. Yeah, I'll call up. This is actually kind of a bad time for US to give up this hill. It is way too early for that to happen. The numbers are kind of in their favor, though. 4 kills to 2. Check every bush. 3, I want you to maintain a strong southern flank. We're going to let 1 and 4 work the problem to the west for now. All of US just fell back. The forces that were attacking two fell back. The forces that were attacking one and three fell back. This farmhouse was occupied, now they fell back. Interesting stuff. And even the southern squad, which is completely out of the picture, generally just getting elevation, they're now falling back to the objective. Squad one, do you have terrain marker? These guys are super high up in the hill. They got a long way to run. 
of course, the big problem for Russia is still this field, which they are now gathering on the east side of. Squad 2, I want you to secure the buildings to your west, Mike 14, 9, 7. And then once you've done that, I want you to pull security to your west and your south, and then hold what you got. Squad 3, go ahead. Welcome. Just work. All right, so squad two needs to get into this structure. All squads be advised, an HMG has been marked and spotted by enemy infantry. We're gonna wait for the mark smoke to dissipate and then we'll re-engage with the HMG. All right, command, this is four. There is an HMG. We're clearing out the first I believe it is somewhere around here. Your nightmare for all the way back to the building. Redipus is down as Russia tried to push their next building up here. Oh, Redipus got zipped from somewhere else. Maybe from his due west. We lost one. They're throwing smoke on their position that they want to move to. No, that smoke rolled off too. Some mis-execution here from Russia in the north, but in the south, they're making progress. Rocket goes out from the north. Shorty gets tagged pretty hard here. Oh, Astrios got destroyed by the HMG. Actually, that was just Nightmare with a mini machine gun. He's got a killer position right there in that building. Squad 1, Command. I can have the HMG engage the building to your northwest at this time. The Mike 14 2 8 Hun gets killed on the base defense for US. Uh, I'm low on guys right now and I'm trying to hold a, a large area. If you want us to do, we can micro that for you. I'd rather just hold and wait for a better platoon placement. Meanwhile, Russia able to catch out a lot of these U.S. guys in the hill below them. DJ Russ is pushing the U.S. position here on the side of the hill. DJ Russ and Bong look like they're pulling out. Bong gets killed in the valley. Defensive nade goes out. Doesn't look like it's affecting anything. Boom, Wolfie gets destroyed by GL. Great work by DJ Russ. Using the other side of his cover. Is it a chance to get out there? Do something. Rockets flying. Lots of GLs, smokes. Looks like they're being shot out here. RPG goes into some fortifications, blows up some sandbags. HMG bunker, Phoenix and Flame Mage. Flame Mage is being talked on to by Phoenix. A little to the right. Because Flame Mage has zero visibility on his target. Reloading. Got it. How many mags? Rush have a great position on this uh, southern hill. Just a matter of time. If they keep whittling down US, they have a chance to charge in here and get in here. Let's get a little bit of a battlefield reset here. This is the main force we were just with. There's a pocket that's moved into the building. These guys that were throwing smokes 
are now in this building, but they're only fire team size. There's also a fire team plus north of everything. It's probably being pinned down by a medium machine gun. Maybe a light rocket unit. The big, z the big X factor is Squad 4 down here for US. How are they going to be able to push in when Russians know they're operating to their southwest? Phoenix, in fact, making that call right now. Actually, he's talking about north. Squad 4, lower right hand corner of your screen here, trying to figure out where to go next. There's no real exit to that building, they have to come around. Alright, we are going to be moving hot, so if we die, we die. Oh boy, I don't like the sound of that. Okay, we have to die You want me to smoke? A couple of guys actually made it across here. You thanks to some smokes. Squad five from US now reforming to do a west to east sweep. Numbers are not going in Russia's favor here. Seven kills to US's ten. Here comes the West guys, the Squad 5 now opening up. AR is trading fire by tracers. Enemy emplacement marked with red smoke. Approximate grid mic 1454. It's a big smoke coming in, artillery level smoke barrage. Be happening in this open field. Probably going to be landing in the next 20 seconds. Meanwhile, bread dies as U.S. continue to push up Southwest Hill. Grenade would have killed him if rifle shots hadn't. Here comes the big push. Not good. You Russia don't have the numbers here. Comes the artillery. <laughs> Where did he kills Blue Jericho from behind? He's about ready to have a lot more company. Don't go too far. Decrum now, the only one really watching their back. Alright, I got you covered if you need to move. Yeah, I'm, I'm good for a grenade back at him. 
comes to artillery. That's not the big artillery. Oh no. What is Lundarts doing? Lundarts gets sonared out by postal. Russia just getting chewed up very slowly here. War Daddy just trying his best. Nashville has been knocked out here. Maybe there is an offensive capability coming in here. War Daddy gets zipped while I'm in the map. Very fun. Numbers very, very topsy turvy here. Going uh, straight for US. US defense too strong. 22 kills for US. Copy that too. Reminder, final objective is to secure the Mike 14 6, uh, Mike 14 4 6 building. Rocket goes on to Frost and it looks like it's a miss. Now, I said all that to say Mr. Butters actually made it. Postal here is Mr. Butters digging here for some reason. I don't understand what Mr. Butters is doing, but he's about to be killed. I don't know what was going on. What was he thinking? He was trying to dig the sandbags down. Meanwhile, Russia is basically non-existent at this point. It's just Phoenix and the gun. He just got off it. There's about a squad-sized force remaining north. Smoke is outbound. After the smoke lands, you're gonna make an assault on that building, okay? Russia able to make it from bale to bale down here. They just need to continue pushing. Get on the western side. All their defenses are on the uh, eastern side. Hey, we're chilling. Don't worry, guys. Forward talking about this approach here. Oh, Phoenix is going to YOLO the truck. Should be now. Or so. They're not going to be positioned to take advantage of the smoke. Smoke out. Here he goes. Shots from Brabpo. Uh, I'm not sure what they're shooting at. Tracers are going all over the place. Here we go. They have to move. They can't just sit here and shoot. Not a great round. There, you will be playing the same team, but you will be attacking. So if you're US this round, you'll be attacking round two as US. Russia this round, you'll be defending as Russia for round two. Phoenix just yellowed the Logi truck in here. So that's all the ammo that everyone can rearm with. Rearm up, Logi, if you need to rearm. And now they have to make this push work. Oh, forward got himself stuck here. Uh, too far of a throw. Might kill Nuclear Twister. Nope. 
forward. He's right there. He's right in front of me. He's right in front of me. He's right in front of me. That guy's using a pistol. He's dead. He's dead. I got him. I got him. I swear to God, he had a fucking MP40. This tree saved my life. This tree saved my life. I'm flanking, trying to get on the northeast. Reloading, reloading, reloading. Northwest, sorry. No. Dash B and Silent Death are going to have something to say about that. English is hard. If he doesn't get shot for being up here, Dash B is actually running past. Silent is going to be taking a shot on forward and nails it. Right there, right there. 215, 215. Titanium saw him. Dash B is now close enough to get a shot in. There's Titanium down. Dash being silent, screwing up the flank here. Phoenix is still alive. We got Phoenix and 6 1 remaining for Russia. Phoenix actually runs up to the battlement and gets killed from the northern objective. So now I think it's all on 6 1. Gets a bullet into Brapo here. And then gets tagged from his southeast. I think that was bus driver. Walked up and just put a bullet in him. 6-1 not bandaging. Immediately. Maybe he's out of bandages? He is pretty lightly wounded here, so he's got time to play with. Turtles goes down. 6-1 has got a bandage now. Ross is just holding the bunker here. Silent and dash speed making a move around. Silent could have a shot on 6-1 here in a second once he clears. The bush. Silent looking for him. Silent doesn't see him. Mm. He's got some trees in his way. So Silent may not have seen him. 6-1. As long as he moves slowly, they're actually pushed past. Russia's, or US have actually pushed past him here. And 6-1 goes down to M4 fire from probably Nuclear Twister right here. And some counter battery fire, but that's too late. It's GG called. Alright, Medic! Medic. Stop. All right, he's, a mean, big, he's a big I'm boy, mean. he'll recover. Alright, so, guns away, oh. let's go, listen up. Alright, so good job last round, guys. We were able to successfully defend Lower Ike. Uh, we will begin launching. We will begin launching an attack into uh, the southern part of the town of Uskadalen, which is the main town along the Scorpo Highway. This town is going to be pretty heavily defended. It is going to be an urban environment, so we're going to be attacking this from multiple sides. To start, we'll have net, or buses, uh, squad four. You guys will have both the MGs and the two MATVs, and we'll basically be providing a base of fire in and around the light vehicle mark here. That spot is not exact, but just a rough estimate of where exactly I want you guys placed. Your squad will be responsible for those of you in squad four, basically laying down hate uh, and making sure that the other squads can kind of maneuver freely. Uh, while it's going on, Utopian squad five will also be going to that same location where the light vehicle mark is. However, they will be making a push along that middle line. So pretty much straight from the south and attacking head on the town. What's going on? Squad uh, 2, Nashville squad, will be heading out further east on the machine gunner mark with those lines, and will either be making a shallow flank on the east side or a deeper flank coming in more from the northeast. Lastly, we have uh, uh, Nuclear trying to do some special forces bullshit. Uh, nuclear has the probably worst and best job at the same time. Their squad will be responsible for trying to infiltrate across the sandbar and get guys in on the west and begin pushing from there. So our objective is we're looking for a Russian FOB radio, which could pretty much be anywhere in that whole kind of southern half of where we're roughly attacking, that cluster of buildings there. So keep your eyes and ears open for a FOB radio. When If you find it, make sure you relay that to your guys, to your uh, SL, and we need to dig that down, secure it, and defend it till the end of the round. Any questions? Um... When you refer to a cluster of buildings, do you refer to the one that's behind the line, like the river line south of it? Can you guys see my one marks or no? The star one marks? No. I can't remember if that's... Okay. No, we can't see that. Nope. Put a hat right. on it. I'm... 
those right there. I want to delete the lines just so you guys can see it a bit better. Pretty much anywhere within that box, roughly, is where we're expecting it. So, I'm expecting it more in the central part right. where the buildings are a lot more clustered, but they could have it on the edge. They could have it damn near anywhere. So, we just got to be ready for that. We're seeing both teams' marks here, so that's why we're seeing two sets of boxes. Crossing the water? Uh, only vehicles have to cross the bridge. Infantry can cross the water as needed. Uh, beyond that, we should be good. Any other questions? What about the land bridge in November 15-1-1? Gonna be looking for someone to raid after this round. November 15, what? So if you guys have squad streamer that you care about, we're gonna be looking for a squad streamer to raid. That's that's fine. That that's a that's a crossing. We'll yeah. That's okay. Uh, so Any other when questions? You say lay, when you say lay hate, uh, are we gonna be firing from a point uh, so we're distracting the others moving in? Uh, I want you guys be kind of... being laying hate as in yeah. I want you guys basically just spraying that town when the initial assault goes off. However, I don't want you guys blindly okay. spraying. Try to you know target areas, buildings that you know there's probably guys in buildings you think there might be guys. In. Oh, I got a good zinger to add in here. Spray and just kind of raking left and right. Like I knew I see I got all the guys just like shooting like this constantly. Like don't do that. Don't just rake back and forth. Be smart with where you're targeting, where you're suppressing. Yeah, lay hate. No, and don't lay discrimination. Exactly. B car's got it. Any other uh -huh. questions? All right, let's go, boys. All right, let's break it out. We'll get ready for life. I gotta spawn in the fucking. Is that good now. to put down the arrows for the roof? There's already two of them. There you go. So basically, we're going into the Chicago. U.S. forces, or sorry, Russian forces are definitely ah. Here we go. So there's going to be a squad of engineers coming in. Whoa. Oh, and we're live. Rally live with round two. This will be the last round for the night. We're going to be looking for a squad streamer to raid after all this. So, uh, if you have recommendations... Let me know. I accept the Steam game. So these guys are just running up the road. Everyone else is going up the hill, disparking troops here, and then going south to north. Oh, Rust, you should, like, join a squad. Is someone not in a squad? That's weird. Anyway. <laughs> he hopped out of a lodge going full speed. It's alright, he was a bad guy. It's fine. Oh, yeah, alright. Good then. Just a little bit of time. So the Russians are running the squad of engineers. I imagine these guys are going to be able to use mines. We're seeing a lot of mines being placed early on. This here is more than likely an AP mine. Uh, we have AP mines modded in, so those are real. AP mines are not meant to kill, but they can. If you're very unlucky, AP mines will kill. This is a squad size of engineers plus two lats. Command on top of like <laughs> six engineers operating in the AO already. We're not seeing everyone because we're just not close enough. So there's a lot of question marks here. Once we get closer to the AO, make sure always round is off. Squad three. Oh, okay. Squad five, best squad. Why are you? 
crawl across this whole thing. Yeah, put recommendations in chat. Uh, I'd love to hear recommendations for squad streamers that are online now. If there's no one to raid, then... Uh, I don't know. I'll just spam my Twitch username and I'll go live playing something stupid here after the stream ends. <laughs> Actually, I probably won't. Odds are I will... I don't know. You guys don't want to watch me play Final Fantasy VI, do you? Probably not. Pixel Remaster is nice, though. But you guys probably don't want to watch me play Final Fantasy VI. U.S. disembarking infantry on the southern right, on the southern point. Let's go take a look at that. The fog is going to definitely inhibit. It's not your guys that aren't gunning or uh, driving. Yeah, right. Engagement distances, but this road pretty much winds down towards the village. The other big problem here is, as you can see, the the road doesn't like give way to great visibility on the town. All the foliage in the way really stops them from engaging until they hit like here. They're not going to have great eyes until it's too late. The hill they're coming down, they have to go off road. They're going to have to use this hill right here for the vehicles. And they do get the benefit of a road to r drive on. But so many mines. Look at all the mines. Squad 3 has made it to the shoal. Let's take a look at that real quick. So they're just holding position and waiting for the attack to actually begin. They can run across here without taking damage because of the raised nature of this little inlet. Nuclear Twister in charge of this squad. Just waiting for the queue. Uh, they're going to have to make a real commitment to move here with cover. I think that was the sound of an AP mine going off, so... Everyone watch yourselves. AP mines are a thing, and they're definitely coming. AP mines going off early, though, is bad news. Oh, the vehicle actually... Hold on, the vehicle just... Throw careful sending your guys up. You're pretty damn close to the, uh... Holy fuck! Oh, oh god. Right up. Oh, god. That's not coming back up. <laughs> Every, all elements are weapons free, by the way. We're not gonna do a, a big, heavy attack, but a steady push. So, five... I don't think they realize mines are gonna be a problem. Hopefully, they start looking for mines. Three, you're free to start trying to cross at your... These open-top MRAPs, though, are gonna be severely... Severely cut short. Yep. Here, hold on. Uh oh. Here comes a mine. You're gonna hold here. They're right in front of them. There you go, there you go. Get them. I love frost. I still just killed half a fire team here at least. There we go. The moon wolfie is sort of stuck here. I can't believe Phoenix actually did it. I can't, yeah, I can't believe he actually that. did it. I'm scanning on like far east team by someone else. Yeah. Push oh and Wolfie was looking for a chance to shoot the uh the, he's actually got a lat. Uh oh, there's a mine here. There's a mine here. Yeah, yeah 075. 075, the red guys, house. Nice. The moon wolfie died for the mine explosion. I'm here, please. Uh, my first step map is hit a mine. Yeah, we're watching, we're watching How close is he to hitting another mine? Not very. Also, contact out to the far northeast. Well, moon wolfie dies before he had a chance to hit the vehicle. 
Whoa, someone just tried to shoot a rocket from a distance. Frost gets out of his uh, vehicle. Okay, let's get you engaging some of the buildings now. Right, uh, you see that one? Up on the top. Oh, yeah. All, right, right All right, he's shooting to nothing. Cool. They're trolls! Yeah, confirm. Those are sandbags down there. We have trolls on Red 4. So we have troll position. The cheese band is still stuck in this building. Londarts gets hit by a rocket. He's dead. And this is just a this is just an arranged game jump up. Pub. Pubs are pubs are definitely a different you know level of a different level of this game, but this. They could be, they could be pretty great experiences. Graham's got an MMG. He's looking to shoot at the bridge. To the left below that bridge. Hey, I'm gonna go and grab that fucking MMG. Yep. Pub experience is something completely different to a situation like this, where this is a relatively closed game, requires a lot of coordination, it's one life, which means we're sort of using our own rule set compared to pub squad, even modded squad. They're definitely intense though. Oh, the cheese man couldn't defend himself, he gets rushed down in the building. More like Battlefield? Yeah. Yeah, I hear it. Okay, you said got a tree six at my six? Six six. Well, not like 2042, but more like. more like Project Reality. Actually, Ukila on fire team. Yeah, for sure. Fire team dead. Alright. It's definitely. It's definitely. It's a lot more tactical than regular Battlefield games. Hey, that one? I'm not sure what they're shooting at right there, but it doesn't look like it's anything special. There's an explosion. Someone, Frost is going to bleed out from that rocket hit. Looks like it missed the... Here we go. The crossing is actually going unhindered. Uh oh, they got caught out. Blades hit, blade goes, blades go down. He think it's tagged by Silent there. Lemon and Silent able to make it across. Did we lose anybody? Yeah. Yep. Even, I mean, Arma is its own level of expandable, right? I think Arma is more expandable than a game like Squad. But Squad is more technically made for um, combat. Whereas Arma is definitely a simulation. This is not a simulation. Oh. Check. I came crashed. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Uh, my game just completely crashed.
I I started talking too much too much uh, stuff about Arma. Squad was like, nope, we gotta shut it down. That's exactly what happened there. Somebody hacked me. Squad hacked my computer. Oh no. Bullets can destroy the cam. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Uh, Frostburns. M81 camo vanilla or modded? Modded. Uh, for those of you joining us, before I was so rudely interrupted, the the whole point here is that uh, whoa, <laughs> it's all really quiet now. I can hear nothing. I need some background music. I need some background music. I need some background music. Um, right. The, uh, the whole point of this, this is a campaign mission. Just sing. No, it's too late for me to sing here. Just type the password. Uh, the whole point here is that it's a campaign. US are attacking from East Factory into South Euskadalen. On your map here, you can see that the two larger blue sections separated by the inlet of water. Bro, I'm not the loudest person in my apartment building. Someone just yelled from another unit down the down the hall. <laughs> I I'm now vindicated in my basic whisper bullshit going on right now. Then it's only 10:30, so I think I'm being a respectful neighbor with this with this noise level. You guys can hear me just fine, right? Type LOL in chat if I'm giving off too many uh, ASMR vibes. All right, let's see if we see if we crash out here, bro. You know what I think? I, you know what I think just happened? I think. Okay, maybe not. All right, we're loading. Oh, no. I'm going to have to actually restart my game again. This sucks. All right, I have to restart the game again. So it crashed out. There must be some sort of easy anti-cheat problem because it was not letting me join a team and finish the joining process. So unfortunately, you guys just have to stick with me for a hot second. And no one typed LOL in chat, so, uh... 30 people that just started listening to me. I don't know what to think. I'm gonna give it 10 more seconds for squad to quit. Then I'm gonna quit it via... I'm sorry, Zine.
squad's not even in my process list right now. Oh, there it is. Okay. Sad. Makes me sad. Oh, wow. Fodder went live. We're going to host Fodder after this. Fodder's doing Kingfisher Ops. Which means he's playing Liberation. We're going to host Fodder unless there's a, another cool squad streamer doing stuff in there right now. I say host, but we're going to raid. That's what I mean to say. Fodder's a cool guy. I know him. I got... I sort of just followed on to him. Been doing... Uh, played a few ops with him. He runs Arma stuff, mainly. Um, but he does official work... Or he's done official streams with... Bohemia before, so... He's cool. We're missing all the fun action. I'm sorry to say. We're gonna have to get in and figure out what happened here. Sadly, I don't have an SSD, so that's why it's taking <laughs> forever for everything to load. All right. Joining in. Once I join a team, I'm going to cut the music and we'll go back into the game. It is joining now, though. This is a good sign. Crossing fingers, crossing fingers. The other news. If you want to send me an SSD. <laughs> I'm kidding. Alright, this looks good. This looks good. Yep, okay, we're in. Okay, uh, let's see. Looks like the assault is actually going really well. We are all the way over here, so warp speed. We'll get command comms back in just a second. Should I get to run across the island? I did, Lemon, right before I crashed. Actually, I'm pretty sure the reason I crashed was some sort of bug. <laughs> but I crashed right after uh, I caught that, Lemon. So, uh, U.S. is winning. I don't know how U.S. is winning. Only 14 kills? What happened to Russia? Yeah. That was definitely... We definitely caught that. So... I'm going to lose my mind here. Okay, Russia is defending... Okay, here's the reset. Russia is defending their radio. Their radio is in this building. They have five people in this building. This is a death trap. Plus a fire team outside. U.S. are still engaged in building to building. Hedgerow to hedgerow. Russia also have a fire team plus... 
Looks like they just destroyed... ...an MRAP. And they're moving forward. I'm pretty sure this was an abandoned MRAP. But they are reattacking from outside of the zone. So this is not over yet for US and Russia. Artillery strikes... Not effective for US. 14 to 13. So it's pretty even right now. Rolling about two and a half squads per team. Hold on, let me get back to. Here we go. Yeah, the one more southwest. Be safe, fellas. Keep using the coastline if we can. Some great suppression here. Cooley man thinks he's actually caught down. Dentrick and rather Scottish stuck out here out of position. Yeah, Lemon I said yes too. Yeah, you lost one guy in the middle. I think it was Blades. You lost blades in the middle of all of that. He was the only one, ironically, that was not crawling while moving across. Alpha thought he stopped his bleeding, but he did not. Thank you. Jack JMW giving him. Uh, it's been a lifesaver this game. Hey man, I got you. All right, we're gonna get command comms back now. Got you, sir. Carry on. Thank Stop you. Getting shot, yeah. That's what I do best. Starting though. now. We're gonna I get them behind. Copy that too. This is three. We're making. Great use of the smoke. Uh, Where's the contact at? The smoke GL. Building. Third window to the right. That's where the muzzle flash is, and where the sponsor contact 255. U.S. are actually getting close to this building here. Keep going, keep going, keep going, don't stop. Yep, still going, still moving. Joe Violence immediately stopped. And got killed. Grenade. Bye-bye, Honda Hun. Big Lamau. Numbers starting to swing for Russia now. We have nothing, we have nothing left. Copy. US have a stranglehold on the main sector though. Kool-Aid man gets destroyed inside the building. Three is making a move for the red brick building with the clock tower. Your people sitting right on the objective radio. Blue gets Charlie and Bow. Wow! U.S. making moves. Bong is on the radio. Bong is digging the radio. Dando doesn't really care right now. Long puts a Rilla into Dando. This is good stuff. Long with the reload. Goes around the corner. Catches Dando off guard. Bong, I'm coming up. Friendly coming up. Dan Cam. 
Oh shit. Kills rush kills the US command. And the adjacent apartment. So there's he has to run out here. Uh oh. Bong is looking for what killed Alpha. He goes down to the second stair. Razor, on the other hand, is running up on Blue Jericho. Blue Jericho puts him down. Bong actually just ran down Dan Cam. Amazing. The radio is cleared. US have cleared the radio location. This is two for two now for US. This is the objective complete. And US with a strong numbers advantage are gonna have to fight off. Looks like maybe four more Russians and the round is over. This is a big win. This is US's first sector inside zone one. So the next mission we will see more toys in play for both Russia and U.S. Three and four, all your remaining guys, I want you to provide security on the south side with taking the radio. Two, I want you to provide on security on east side. Copy. We're gonna have a heavy contact so, so so far. There's a bullet crossword that needs one to no, that's only. Fine. We're in defensive mode now. We're taking the radio. It's almost on time right now. Uh, friendly, friendly, friendly coming in. And there's the radio one bleed. U.S. securing the objective destruction. Copy. I got smoke cell smoke. Use those sandbags right there. Use them. I just careful. They put AP mines in front of the sandbags. AP mines are definitely a problem. Dash beak, look to your, more to yourself. They're probably coming in there. I'm trying to watch with any luck, Yeah, with any luck they'll hit their own AP mines going through there. <laughs> Six one is not actually visible. Barely. But there's a bush in the way. The remaining Russians forward is actually making a big play here. Dash B might have heard him. Definitely heard him there. So we're gonna jump through that hole. Other side of the wall from us. Other side of the wall. Postal definitely hurt him. He's on the left. Fragging? He's, he's fragging. I'm fragging. Frag. Dash base grenade might have actually gone over the second wall. It doesn't, but actually it does wound forward. I'm. Hello. I jumped over the wall and got him. He was managing. I'm jumping back over again. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Grenade? I got him. I don't know where. Uh, bandaging, bandaging. Great call by Dashby to run away there. Pull back to the rest of the squad. Dude, I am... Does anyone have a medic? Does anyone have a medic? I'm not... I think we're down to 6-1 here. I don't think any other Russians are alive. So 6-1, the last to live. Two rounds in a row. Oh my god, Jericho. Jericho, there's a dude I hit with a frag on the far side of the wall. I heard him bandaging, <laughs> so I jumped right over the wall and shot down on top of him. Yo, medic. I jumped like a, a guy Jack, running. Jack. Dashby, I got it on stream. I don't know if this building's clear. Oh. So 6-1. Might be caught out here. Silent is probably watching this direction. The last call out for US was that they're from the red buildings. He's got to be careful. Mines. One mine wounds three people. It's really oddly timed. I, like, I, know, I, that bush before. I didn't hear anything. What happened? Can anyone hey, bandage me? Can anyone bandage me? Here, guys. Uh, Man, the radius on that is so small. Thank you. If you need one, don't only take one if you need one. 6 one starting to creep along the wall here. Silent has a great position, but I don't think he can see... He can see the wall, but he is watching. Silent's got this guy. Headshot straight in the side of the head. Nice shot. GG called.
and that's it. Yeah.